1953, which also happens to be the same year he was born. Uh, That's the year I started square dancing. All right. Yeah. Excellent. The golden age of square dancing. What year? 1853. Oh, 1953. So it uses a... Uh, wow. That's a rocket music. Yeah, like, I don't know where that's coming from. Uh, okay. Um, so, uh, so uh, one of the uh, unique things about this particular dance is it uses figures from the, the Southern Square Dance. I was saying while ago. It uses yeah. some uh, New England figures uh, with courtesy movements like the uh, right, left, through, and the ladies' chain. Also uses um, some figures that became part of the modern Western Square Dance vocabulary. So there was this. This all happened uh, uh, before any of the modern Western Square Dance stuff was uh, was standardized. Uh, and everything was kind of getting pushed together in this really interesting and fun way. So that's what this particular square represents in Larry's view, anyway. Um, so, head couples.